Hello, my name is Lin Tao. I'm from HP. Uh, today I'm going to talk about how we use issue and open policy agent for authorization. So first I would like to talk about authorization. Authorization is to verify if an identity has the permission to do something. And there are many common approaches to do authorization, like role-based access control, uh, which grants access by roles. It is cost grant. A typical example is Kubernetes RBAC. And there's also policy or attributes-based access control, which grant access by policies. It is more fine-grained. A uh, typical example is AWS IAM policies. And we are using both of these uh, approaches in our current project. So a little background on our project. It's called a fish station platform, which is a customer shoe platform. Uh, we have many third-party partners developing their service on our platform using our platform API. And the service built by these partners are running in the same Kubernetes cluster as our platform services. So it's a challenge for the platform network security and access control. So we divide these services into layers. So we have layer one, uh, which are our partner service, and we have layer two, which are platform services, and layer three for internal services. And on each layer, we apply different authorization scheme. So in L1, uh, we are enforcing role-based access control in infrastructure layer. That's where Istio Mixer comes in. So we have a customized all the adapter on the mixer. So all the L uh, requests to L1 service will be handled by our adapter. The adapter will uh, authorize with our centralized authorization service. And here's how we configure the adapter. We have a rule basically says that only the request to the service with layer equals L1 will be handled by the adapter. And here's the adapter uh, template. It defines all the temp uh, attributes from Istio that will be used by the adapter. So the adapter knows uh, what, uh, who is trying to access your API, and then the adapter can authorize with our authorization service uh, using our role-based authorization. So that's uh, L1 authorization. So we are basically checking if the user is able to access our API. Uh, it's cost grant, but it's what we want in L1 services. But in L2, we have uh, service from uh, different uh, uh, partners, and resources are uh, from different partners. We want more fine-grained access control. So, uh, for instance, uh, company A can, cannot access company B's resources. So that's where uh, open policy agent comes in. So uh, we have a library called Aussie Client, which uh, all L2 services are integrated with. So the, this client will send the authorized request to open policy agent. So a little background on open policy agent. It's a general purpose uh, authorization engine from CNCF. I think it's just graduated. And uh, basically, your service will send a query to open policy agent. And po open policy agent will make an authorization decision for you based on the policy and the data you configured. So here's a typical example. So uh, in our order service, uh, we have uh, Aussie client uh, integrated. And when, let's say, the user Alice trying to request orders from company HP, our client, Aussie client will extract attributes from current request and pack them into a JSON payload. So these attributes include uh, user attributes and API attributes and request attributes, and they will be sent to uh, open policy agent. And on the other side, open policy agent is configured with our policy and data. So this policy defines that a uh, user is only able to uh, access orders from his own company. And the data here, we define the relationship between the user and companies. So with these three uh, pieces of information, open policy agent is able to make an authorization decision and return the result to our service. So that's basically how we enforce the fine grain access control in our L2 services. And here's the overview. Uh, in L1, we enforce the role based access control with Issue Master. And in L2, with uh, ABAC uh, using uh, open policy agents. And in L3, it's our internal services. We are applying some network policies to uh, limit access to the L2 services. 
So thank you. Because the time is limited, I can uh, dive into details. But if you are interested, please uh, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I'll be happy to answer. Thank you. Thank you.